We're going to handicap a race in real time here. This is how long it takes to go through a race. I'm um, looking at this race number four from Laurel Park. It's a six furlong race. You start off looking at the conditions of the race first and foremost. This is a claiming race for non-winners of two lifetime. So N2L means non-winners of two races lifetime. All these horses should have one career victory. And if you look down through the lifetime records, as you see here with the number one horse, five career starts, one win. You'll see similarly all these horses in the race only have one career victory. The first thing I do after noticing the conditions of the race and knowing what it's about I want to know where the horses are in their particular form cycles have they raced recently are they coming off long layoffs it's the first thing I look at so I go through and scan through each horse in the race as you see with number one this horse has run recently in January skipping down through the two horses also run recently the three we see our first layoff now this horse has not raced since last spring I'm gonna put a circle around that because I want to alert myself that I don't miss that fact I don't want to think that this horse is in recent form but I want to remember when I go back and look at this race that this horse is coming off a long layoff so we continue looking at the form cycles for the other horses uh, majestic samurai also coming off a long layoff country chic also coming off a long layoff so when we look at these first five horses in this race three of them are coming off of long layoffs the one and the two are the two horses who have run most recently now we want to look at the class of the race this is a 25,000 non-winners of two lifetime in the class of the race you'll see that in this middle column here is where the class of East Horse's previous races are. The number one horse last time ran in allowance company, previously ran in allowance company, previous to that was an allowance company. Today is in for a $25,000 claimer. This horse is what we say is dropping in class. I mark that with an arrow down so that when I scan back, I know the number one horse faced tougher horses in the past and now today is facing easier competition. If we scale through the rest of the field, you'll quickly see here, this horse ran for claiming 25,000 non-winner or two, the same class level as last time. I do a sideways line for that. Uh, and when you just go down through, allowance race, this horse dropping in class from its last start. Now this horse ran in a maiden race for a 45,000 claiming, and now today runs in a regular claiming race. So it's actually facing tougher competition, going from the maiden ranks to the claiming ranks. This horse will get an up arrow in my estimation because they are stepping up in class, facing tougher competition. And if we come down to this runner here, 16,000 claimer, non-winners to two lifetime. Today runs for 25,000 non-winners to two lifetime. That should be a step up in class again, running for a higher claiming price. So now at a quick glance, when you look at my past performances, you can see these three horses haven't raced in a long time. And these horses are stepping up in class, while these two horses are dropping in class. Now, if you look at the evaluation of these runners, you have a horse who's in a recent form cycle, dropping in class, against some horses who have some other question marks. Number one, True's Love should fit this race pretty well on paper. That's a quick way of going through and handicapping basing on class and form cycles. The other things you'll want to do is evaluate what each horse's running style is in the uh, particular race. This race is at six furlongs in distance, so you'll want to go back and look at the previous distances these horses have run, all marked in their past performances. As you can see, this horse has been running in five furlong and six furlong races, generally speaking, throughout its career. You can tell the running style of the horse by looking at their past performance lines going across the line. This is where they started earlier in the race and it proceeds until further in the race. So you can see that the uh, Trucks Love last time broke first and was leading still leading by a length and a half at this point, and then faded later in the race, was fourth beaten four lengths, and then finally la or fifth beaten eight lengths at the finish. So this horse went from the lead and tired at the end. This is obviously a front-running speed horse. I denote him with the letter S for speed in my past performances to tell me that that horse is going to show early speed. Other people use different abbreviations and different denominations for the running styles. Now we come down and we see that Triple Pick last time out also showed speed in its most recent start. This horse broke on top, and now you can see a potential where this horse starts to fade late in the race and again finishes fifth after showing early speed. Again, triple pick with an inside post next to another speed horse probably is another one who is going to run towards the front. You'll go through and continue your pace evaluation through that with each horse and then you'll get a look and, and see if a race has a lot of early speed or not so much early speed and which pace may favor which different horse. In this situation, just looking at the race quickly on, on, a, uh, on, a, on a quick look through, you have a horse who's got speed, the rail, in a current form cycle, and dropping in class. Trucks Love should be a horse who's a pretty logical contender in this race at Laurel Park, and that's how you kind of start to break a race down um, through the various factors.